This one is problem 1.26 which says the drawing shows a section through the latch of a screen door and we have to find out the force P required to just start the latch sliding under the following assumptions and the assumptions are that friction coefficient is 0.3 hinges are well oiled up and the distances are large compared to the dimension of the latch and the spring that is right here this spring is giving a force of 4.5 newtons there in the second part we have to find out the force P when there is no friction so to start with uh, this latch that we notice right here when it starts sliding what will happen is this portion of the latch will come in contact with this corner and it will slide along this direction so in that process this, this latch will be slightly tilted so there will be two new contacts that will come here one point is this will be in contact with this surface similarly this corner right here will be in contact somewhere here and this contact will be with this corner so there will be these three new contacts coming in there in terms of forces there will be another force coming on this latch from the spring so now uh, if I separate this latch here and try to look at the forces on this latch let's mark the contacts one is right here second one is right here third one will be somewhere there and there will be a spring force right at this point so let's mark these points let's call this one as A and this one as B this one as C and this may be because of spring we can call this as S now for the force directions because this latch is sliding backwards and the friction is going to oppose this motion so friction forces will be all in the right side direction so if I come to this point the friction force will be pointing this way and there will be a contact force coming here so let's call this FB and this will be 0 0.3 times FB this point right here again friction is pointing this way and a normal reaction is here so this is FC this one is 0 0.3 FC now since spring is going to be under compression so there will be force 4.5 newtons coming that way now at this point also since it is going backwards so your friction is going to be parallel to this surface right here and the normal force at this point is going to be this way so this is FA and this is 0 0.3 FA and since this angle right here is 45 degrees so this angle also is going to be 45 degrees so now we can do the force balance on this so due to force balance if I look at X component I'll have this 4.5 newtons this one then 0 0.3 FC and 0 0.3 FB this one and there will be a positive X component from this and negative X component from this so 0 0.3 FA and cos 45 will be 1 over square root 2 and then minus FA again cos 45 is going to be square root 2 equals to 0 now for the Y component of forces we can start from here this is FC this one is minus FB and this will give you a positive component so 0 0.3 FA divided by square root 2 because of sine component and this will also give you a positive component so FA divided by square root 2 equals to 0 now if you notice here there are three forces that are unknown FA, FB and FC and we have only two equations so the last equation we can write is for the movement balance and in this case the good choice for finding movement will be this point A because this one and this one and this friction force this all of them will pass through this point O so they will not contribute to the movement now for movement the dimensions are also important so let's note down few of these dimensions so this one right here is 6 mm and from here to here and this is 42 completely I don't have space but this is going up to here and this gap right here is again 6 and the vertical height totally here is 12 ok so when I start taking movements about this point the first force that we will see is this FC about this point is going to give you a clockwise movement so FC times 42 now this one right here which is 0 0.3 FB this is also going to give you clockwise movement with a moment arm of 12 mm 
Now FB here is going to give you anti-clockwise movement and this distance 6 mm will come into play and the last one this is your spring force which is 4.5 newtons sitting at a distance of 6 it's going to give you a clockwise movement so all this is equals to 0 so now we have got three equations 1 2 and 3 so from this we can solve for FA FB and FC and if you do that your FA value comes out to be 22.05 your FB value comes out as 20.83 and FC comes out as 0.55 newtons. So, so far in this analysis P has not appeared yet, okay, which was the force that we are interested in calculating. So, what we can do now is we can isolate this latch plus load this part separately so that P will also come into picture and draw free boy diagram of this assembly. Now all the forces that were coming from this contact spring and this contact here all of these will become internal so they will not appear there. This contact right here will still be an external contact so we are going to have your FA force there and your friction 0.3 FA there and since there is an attached hinge here there may be two components of force coming from your hinge fhx and fhy so to solve for p we can do the movement balance on this and this movement balance we can do about the hinge point okay now if you look at this point right here fhx and fhy will not play any role in the movement so these two forces and this p force these are the ones that are going to play a role so in terms of distances what is important for us is this distance right here for moment calculation this distance right here and this distance right here these three distances are important so if i mark this one as hx and this one as hy this distance right here since there is a gap of this six millimeters here this can be written as hx plus six so about this point this this force P will give a clockwise movement and the distance from here to here is hx so this is a positive movement and these two forces they will give you the vertical component will give a anti-clockwise movement so fa plus 0.3 fa and the vertical component will be sine 45 so 1 square root 2 will come in the denominator and the distance from here is going to be hx plus 6 now if you look at the horizontal component of these they will be a 0 0.3 fa minus fa divided by square root 2 this is the net positive x force there and the vertical distance from here to here is hy so this is going to give us clockwise movement that's why there's a plus sign here now if you read the problem in the second assumption it says says distances from the latch are large compared to the dimensions of the latch that is given okay so in terms of these numbers here your hx is much greater than your hy and that 6 mm that that we see there okay so wherever we see something multiplying with hx that will be much higher compared to these smaller numbers so what we can do is we can ignore this number we can ignore this complete term right there and this way we can rewrite this equation which becomes p minus if i combine these two together 1.3 fa divided by square root 2 times hx equals to 0 so if you solve this equation the value of p that we get from here is 20.26 newtons so this is the force required to slide the latch so that door can be locked second part of the problem is asking that what happens when there is no friction okay so when there is no friction we will draw the free boy diagram as it is so the forces that you are going to notice here will be this spring force which is 4.5 newton there will be a vertical force here which is fc there will be this force coming here which is fa and there will be this force fb right here okay so when you do the force balance on this one if i do x force balance there will be 4.5 newtons positive minus fa divided by square root 2 because of this angle 45 degrees equals to 0 
similarly for the y force balance we are going to get fc minus fb plus fa divided by square root equals to 0 and the moment equation in this case again if you take moment about this point fa here so we are going to get 4.5 newtons and this distance right here was 6 mm so into 6 mm this is clockwise plus fc and this distance was 42 mm so fc into 42 and this is clockwise again and this fb is going to give you anti-clockwise and this horizontal gap here was again 6 mm so into 6 equals to 0 so now if you look at these three equations again we can get the values of fa fb and fc and solving these we get the values of fa as 6.36 newtons fb as 4.5 newtons and fc equals to 0 now looking at the door and latch assembly there will be only one force coming here which is your fa force and this is force p and there will be these hinge forces and if you take moment about this point again we can write down an equation which is going to be uh, vertical force p will be balanced by fa square root 2 so p is equals to fa square root 2 and this gives us p value to be 4.5 newtons